Hello, 8th graders. Today we are doing Module 4, the problem set for Lesson 28. Um, we are going to continue um, solving for systems of equations. Um, uh, and so our um, direction set tell us to determine the solution if it exists. Remember, if they're parallel lines, there's no solution. If they're the same line, there's infinite solutions. So we're going to find the system, the uh, solution to the system of the linear equation if it exists. It says to verify the solution on the coordinate plane. You can open up your edge, um, open up your GeoGebra uh, through your Clever app and check them. Also, to save time, we're not doing all 14 problems. We're just going to do half of them. We're going to do 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, and 14. Um, some of these we're going to be solving using elimination. Others we're going to be solving using substitution. So let's start with number two. Um, these are both written in uh, standard form. So um, we could choose elimination except for we don't have anything when we add these together will disappear. I have 9x, so I'd need a negative 9x, but I have a negative 3x. But that gives me an idea. If I had a negative 3x and I multiplied it by 3, I would have a negative 9x, and that would work. So what if I took this whole solution, this whole equation, and multiplied it by 3? I would then get a negative 9x plus 3y, and that's going to equal 6. Remember, I kind of basically used my distribution, right? And on top, the top one is 9x plus 2y equals 9. So I can add these together. 9x minus 9x is going to give me 0x. 2y plus 3y is going to give me 5y. And 9 plus 6 is going to give me 15. So 0x we can just cross out because that's nothing. Anything times 0 is 0. So we have 5y equals 15. We would divide by 5. And y would be 3. So I know that y is 3. Now that I figured out that y is 3, I can take that 3 and put it into one of the equations. So let's take this equation here. We have 9x plus 2y, but what is y? 3. 2 times that 3 equals 9. Uh, so we have 9x plus 6 equals 9. I'm going to have to take 6 away, right? We subtract 6 from both sides. We get 9x equals 3. And now we divide by 9. And x is going to be 3 over 9. And we can reduce that. We can uh, divide the numerator and the denominator by 3, and we would get 1 third. So x is 1 third, and y is 3. So our solution to this problem is going to be uh, 1 third is our x, and our y is 3. If you go through and graph these equations in GeoGebra, you will notice that the lines intersect at the uh, point 1 three, one third 3. Let's go on to number three. Hmm. Well, one of these is in slope-intercept form, and the other is in standard form. Or actually, they're both in slope-intercept form, I should say. But uh, this it actually isn't quite there because we have a 2 in front of this. So what if I took this and divided everything by 2, right, just to simplify it? We would end up with y equals 2x minus 2. Ooh. Our top one was y equals 2x minus 2. Hmm. These have the same slope, right? Same slope. They also have the same y-intercept. That tells us that these are the exact same line. 
if these are the same line, then every point on one would be the answer on the other. So it, there's infinite solutions. Let's go on to number four. Um, looking at this, they're both in standard form. And I know that if I added these together, the 8x minus the 8x, positive 8x plus a negative 8x, that's going to give me no x's, right? So that's going to help us just have our y's to deal with. So let's do that. So we have 8x minus 8x, that's going to be 0x, right, plus a negative 8. And then 5y plus another y is going to give us 6y. And 19 plus a negative 1. So we're going to start at 19, go down 1, we're going to have 18. So we're going to have 6y equals 18. We'd have to divide by 6 on both sides. And 18 divided by 6 would be 3. So we have y equals 3, so we solve for y. So now let's take this and put it into one of the equations. Let's put it into the top equation. You can do the bottom one too, it doesn't matter. But we're going to have, this is 8x plus 5y, right? y is 3, so 5 times 3 equals 19. 5 times 3 is 15. So I have 8x plus 15 equals 19. So I'm going to have to subtract 15 from both sides. 8x is going to equal 4. Divide by 8, and x is going to be 4 eighths. We can simplify that. We can divide by 4, right? Numerator and denominator, and we get 1 half. So our x is going to be 1 half. So the solution to this equation, we're going to have x is 1 half and y is 3. Let's go on now to problem number six. One is in, uh, actually they're both in slope intercept form, but this one is not um, simplified all the way because we have four y's. We only want to have one y. So can we divide everything by four here? Four divided by four is y, right? Just one y. Uh, Twelve divided by four would be three x. Oh, I'm sorry, this here, 3x, 12 divided by 4 is 3x, plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. And this is y equals 3x plus 2. If we look at these equations, they have the same slope. But they have different y-intercepts. Therefore, they're parallel. And if you have parallel lines, you'll have no solutions because they're never going to cross. There's never going to be a point that will answer both equations. No solution. Let's go on to 9. Um, so we're going to use a substitution here. First thing I want to though, because I got a 3y and a y here, but I don't want to divide this by 3 because we get a fraction, right? So let's multiply this one by 3 so they, they equal out, right? So I'm going to multiply this by 3, and we're going to have 3y equals a negative 6x plus 18. I multiplied everything by 3, and this is 3y equals x minus 3. Well, if this equals 3y and this equals 3y, they have to equal each other because they both equal 3y. So I'm going to have a negative 6x plus 18 equals x minus 3. We now have an equation with variables on both sides. 
So we get rid of the uh, variable that has the smallest coefficient. And what's smaller, negative 6 or a positive 1? Negative 6, so we're going to add 6x to both sides. And we get 18 equals 6x plus one more x would give us 7x minus 3. So we've got to add 3 to both sides. So divide by 7. And x is going to give us 3. So we know x is 3. So let's put that um, x is 3 into this top equation. Okay, so let's choose this. y equals negative 2 times x. Well, we know x is 3, right? So negative 2 times 3 plus 6. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, so y equals 0. So we now know our x and our y. So our solution to this problem would be an x of 3 and a y of 0. Let's go on to problem number 12. Number 12, notice that these are both equal to y, right? If 4 thirds x minus 9 is y and x plus 3 is y, if these both equal y, then they have to equal each other. So we can now write 4 thirds x minus 9 equals x plus 3. Remember we got an invisible 1 here, right? Which is smaller, 4 thirds or 1? One smaller, four thirds is bigger than one, right? So we got to subtract the x from both sides. Over here, we're going to get three. Now, this is in thirds, so how do we write one in thirds? One written as thirds would be three thirds. Can't we write one as three thirds? So I'm going to write this as 3 thirds x, which is the same as 1x, so I can now subtract this. So I'm going to get 1 third x minus 9 equals 3. So I'm now going to have to add 9 to both sides. We get 1 third x equals 12. I don't have to divide by one-third because we're multiplying. But remember, dividing by one-third is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I multiply both sides by 3 over 1. I'm going to get x equals 36, right? So we know our x is 36. So let's go to this equation here y equals x plus 3, y equals x, what's our x? 36 plus 3, 36 plus 3 is 39, so we know that y is 39. So our solution to these, this system of equations, our x is going to be 36, and our y is going to be 39. We're going to go on to our last problem for today. Number 14. Okay. Um, these both look like they can be simplified. They're kind of big numbers. Let's simplify them to go to smaller numbers. Let's divide everything here by 7, right? Let's divide this whole thing by 7. 21 divided by 7 would be 3x plus 14 divided by 7 would be 2y, and 7 divided by 7 would be 1. And let's take this whole thing and divide it by 
4, right? Because 4 goes into 12, 8, and 16. So 12 divided by 4 would be 3x plus 2y equals 4. Oh, look at this. And the same number of x's and y's, but this is different, right? So they're not exactly the same line, but these are going to be parallel because they have the same x's and y's in standard form. These are going to be parallel lines, but not the same uh, y-intercept. So these are parallel, which means there's going to be no solution. Once again, you can go to your GeoGebra and graph these and prove it. Have a good day.